Still on the news, the Kogi State Government has responded to Dangote Industries Limited's insistence on 100% ownership of Obajano Cement Company, saying that DIL's efforts at making Kogi State's uh, demand appear unreasonable had only justified the state's protest against what it described as scams and deliberate asset grabbing. The state government maintained that Obajano Cement Company was solely founded in 1992 and owned by the state, which held 100% of its shareholding in trust for its people long before Dangote Industries ventured into the DRL, pardon me, ventured into the state and longer still before Dangote Cement PLC came into existence. In its response to Dangote Group's advertorial titled Separating Facts from Fiction, the Kogi State Government noted that successive administrations had always invited Dangote Industries Limited and Dangote Cement PLC to prove that the group paid anything at all for the purported acquisition of Obajano and its alleged 100% ownership. But each time, DRL and DCP have failed to do so. In the response titled Separating Acquisition from Asset Grabbing, the Kogi State Government disclosed that it took a loan of at least 15 million Dutch marks to conduct feasibility assessment, which confirmed the existence of those vast limestone de deposits the DIL found so enticing years later. The state government invited Nigerians and all persons of goodwill everywhere to ruminate on the issues raised and draw conclusions on the ways and the manner in which DRL and DCP have shamelessly gone about their conspiracy to dispossess Kogi and our people of their rightful assets. Still on the news, we'll now take a break. When we come back, we'll be